Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Also, do not forget to check out my website, waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant. So today I have our monthly comparison video. Now, it's April, and last month when we were discussing voting, I really wanted to have the florals have a chance. So you guys were all so sweet, and many of you voted for the floral category. Now, unfortunately, it is unseasonably cold here and in many other parts of the country. So it is literally snowing on and off today as I am trying to film a beautiful spring video on florals, but we're going to do our best. So there are a whole bunch of florals here. Now I have floral florals, I have florals with fruit, and I have fruity scents with a lot of floral in them to just kind of round out this comparison video. So let's start off with one of the most hardcore florals that we have, which is lilacs and violets. Now this is currently in the catalog and it is all floral. So it has the beautiful lilac note and then it has a violet note that brings a little bit of complexity and earthiness to it. It's incredibly fresh and is a really good lilac scent. It is very nice and if you love your springtime florals, this one is a winner and it always comes back. Now my favorite floral floral that Scentsy has ever made is a discontinued scent, Blue Hyacinth. The other day I plunked a cube of this into one of my warmers just to make sure that I remembered the scent well and wow. This is so strong out of the gate and it's very heady and it's very beautiful. It really does smell like that pot of hyacinths that you can go and get at the grocery store or Home Depot right before Easter. It is beautiful. If it ever comes back in another Bring Back My Bar and you love spring florals, I would highly recommend it. Now, it is a very uh, it's strong out the gate kind of a scent and then it does die down and oddly enough the base notes smelled a lot like another smell that I have here in this pile and I found that quite interesting because you wouldn't think that they would be that similar in the die down phase but after those I have another one which is like a floral floral which is lush gardenia which I have fallen in love with this season it is beautiful it always comes back in the catalog and now I know why it's lots of gardenia, very creamy, very rich, and a little bit of tuberose on the back end. This one is a good medium to medium strong performer. Some people say that this is the most powerful floral and that it overtakes their house. For me, it does not. It just scents it nicely and it's actually really, really good. So then my all time favorite that is in the floral category, but I'm gonna read you all the notes because this is very complex. This is Summer Holiday, and this is one of those bars that I just can't live without in the summertime especially. I don't really melt it until it gets truly warm outside. But Summer Holiday is Plumeria, Tiger Lily, Orange, Vanilla, and Amber. And because of all those different layers, it is the loveliest of scents. And it just smells like a summer vacation in the most beautiful way. I find that I love Plumeria. I love Freesia. I love Jasmine. I like them in perfume. I like them in home fragrance. I love Jasmine in my tea. I don't think you can get Freesia and Plumeria in your tea, but if you could, I'd probably think it was good. Oh, so, so pretty. One of, one of the best, I think, mixed florals that Scentsy has ever, ever made. Okay, now, as far as the light and delicate scents, my favorite is definitely Aloha Citrus. And Sensi says that this one has Tangerine, Jade Blossom, and Vetiver. And I love Jade Blossom and I love Vetiver. Haven't really smelled Jade Blossom in a lot of things, but the couple perfumes and things over the years that I have, it's unusual and it's really good. This scent is very, very soft, so you have to baby it. I would use a couple of warmers in a smaller space, probably two cubes in each warmer to really get of the full effect of this. But when you do, oh, it's gorgeous. And I just hung a car bar of this in my car today and it is just loveliness. It's so good. Mm, I would love to see this one in a Scentsy soap, but I don't think we've ever carried it for that. Anyway, Aloha Citrus is gorgeous. It can be finicky. So just baby it a little bit if you're trying it for the first time. So then one more that is a hardcore floral floral is Bloom and Beach, which was one of last year's, I think it was last year's uh, Mother's Day collection bars. And it's gorgeous. I put this in my room the other day to kind of freshen up my mind on what it smells like. Oh, it's so good. It smells a lot like an old Yankee jar candle, Roses of the Cliff Walks, which I loved. So it's rose, 
but it's rose with a lot of fresh air and a little bit of almost like a seaside quality not like salty but just the freshness has a watery quality to it that tames the rose just enough that it's not in any way obnoxious and I do love rose so that that is just perfect now what I don't have here on this table is simply rose because I'm pretty sure I've used it up and that one is too strong even for me for the most part it's just not pleasant so did not include that and like I said I think I already got rid of whatever cubes I had left mixing it with something in February that's when I usually do in my rose smells okay so next I have Bora Bora Blossom, which I believe has uh, violet leaf and orchid and tropical fruits. So pretty much we're getting into blended scents now that have a high amount of floral, but they're mixed with fruits. So this one was in the Bring Back My Bar in the wintertime in January. And I love it because it reminds me a lot. There's more fruitiness in that, but it reminds me a lot of the violet that's in this. So there is violet and Hawaiian lei and coconut in Mahalo Coconut. And I know that this isn't in the floral section, but for me, this is so fruity floral, even though they have it classified as, oh, what is that? As fruity, I just don't see this as a fruit bomb. I see this as something that is so creamy and so delicate. I mostly get the violet leaf and the lei. And it reminds me a lot of Bora Bora Blossom, just a little bit less fruity. So to me, that is still very much a floral scent. You can argue with me if you want. I understand different people get different things out of stuff, but I always think of Mahalo Coconut as much more of a perfumey floral fruit mix. So Fiji Flower, this one was last year's summer collection. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. This one's apple and pear blossom and I believe plumeria and it is so pretty. People have been raving about this in the washer whips. I have not gotten into all of the scentsy stuff with laundry because I've spent plenty of money on the wax and the warmers, but I know that it's good. Everyone has raved about it. So nice, so, so nice. Then Here Comes the Sunflowers is a mixture of musk, sunflower, and strawberry, but it definitely still comes off incredibly floral, and that one's really hard to read. Yeah, I don't think, there we go. Um, this is gorgeous. I am very sad that I wasted a couple seasons of not warming this thing because I thought it was going to be too weak. Now, a lot of the ones on this table, a few of them are going to be crazy strong, and the rest of them are all going to be quite dainty. So you have to think about where you're going to warm it and how you're going to warm it. So a scent like this, you probably want to put two cubes in a good performing warmer or two cubes in an element warmer and then have either a mini or another good performing warmer across the room or in an adjacent room. So it's just really important to give this kind of a scent a really thoughtful try before you just say you can't smell it and you pitch it and you've missed something fantastic. So here comes the sunflowers. I like it a little bit better than the scarlet sunflower that we had in the fall, although I'm sure if it comes back, scarlet sunflower, um, in the fall, that I would order another one of those too. So I guess that's an honorable mention that I did not put in here because that has cranberry and sunflower and another note that it is a floral, but it's very much a fall floral, and I'm trying to concentrate in this video mostly on our spring and summer season. So, sun-soaked petals. This is a powerhouse. This is so good, but it's so different, and it's a very divisive scent. I love it. A lot of people think it's, it's almost like stinky. Oh, it's gorgeous for me. This has daffodils and currant and watermelon, and there's this sharpness that I think of when I think of spring bulbs, and it is gorgeous, but I only need like one cube and then put it with something else in the house because it is overwhelmingly strong. So if you struggle with having enough scent performance from your bars, try this one. So as long as it doesn't give you a headache, it could be an incredible performer and you might turn out to love it. I will probably stock up on three or four bars of this because I only go through one a year, um, but I don't know if it's coming back next year. This is its second reoccurrence in the catalog, so I don't know. Okay, here is one that was a scent of the month. I had to look up when it was. It was March of 2020, and since a few other things were happening in the world, I bet most of us have forgotten about this. Spring has sprung, and it is uh, magnolia, and then a couple of notes that are more um, fruity, and I'm not remembering which ones, even though I just looked it up. 
I think it has pear and lemon. And it's sharp and creamy, which is what the Magnolia does, which is gorgeous. I love Magnolia. And uh, this one is a favorite of mine. I almost wish that I had it in my club because this is my last bar. All right, another one that is new this year is Paradise Petals. And this, I am really having trouble with my ring light today. This is a keeper for me. This is beautiful. This has, let's see what Sensi says, Neroli, which I love, orange zest, and tropical white blooms. And it is happy and bright. It's gentle. Um, this isn't a terrible performer. I don't have to baby it as much as Aloha Citrus, and I like Aloha Citrus more, so I'm willing to put up with it being temperamental. But this one's pretty good. It's light medium, and you put it in a couple warmers, it's a pretty good performer considering the type of scent. Probably better in a small to medium zone. Uh, it's definitely a bedroom appropriate scent. It's lovely. And then we get to one of my absolute favorites, which honestly, I would put this in the fruity category, but since he's got it in floral, and that is hibiscus pineapple. I love hibiscus pineapple, and it is not any problem with performance. It's a good solid medium all the time in any space that I put it in, and I love it. So hibiscus pineapple is hibiscus, pineapple, and sweet mandarin, and it is just lovely. So hibiscus, when I think of hibiscus tea and things like that, there's almost like an astringency to it, and I do not get that from this bar. What I get from this bar is creamy loveliness, and it is totally addictive. One of my favorites on this table. It's so good. All right, now another one which is a terrible performer. I'm probably going to try babying this in a couple of element warmers in my back room this summer. I have two bars left of Honeymoon Hideaway. Now this is a beautiful scent that many people struggle to smell. I can smell it in my house, but it's like really weak. It's the almost not there. Oh, there it's there it is and there it's gone again kind of a smell. But it is so pretty. So this has lily, it's got coconut palm, and it has kiwi, and it is gentle, and it is really, really elegant. So I think if it was a better performer, it probably would have stayed in the catalog for forever, because it is gorgeous. So I will be babying this along this summer. All right, now, last month we had a new floral called Hey Tiger Lily, and in all honesty, I get more fruit out of this than I do floral, which is why I've included a few other things here, because if Sensi said this is a floral, some of this other stuff I've got should be too. But they say wild tiger lily, white rose, and luminous jasmine are the floral notes. And then there's also sugared mandarin, dewy greens, watery melon, blonde woods, and creamy musk. So there's a lot going on in this smell. And I would agree, it's a very busy scent. First off, you get all that orange, you get all that mandarin, and then you get a combination of other smells that I cannot separate from each other. So to me, I guess you call this a white floral with a lot of orange zest on the front end. It's pretty, I'm not gonna go running out to get more, but I'm enjoying the bars that I do have from my, my kit, my uh, consultant kit. So that one is good. Now the three that I have left are decidedly fruity, but they have enough floral in them or they give me the feeling of a floral that I'm kind of adding them because in a comparison video, I like to do like a spectrum. So we started out with the ones that are, whoa, that's floral. Then we went to the ones in the middle, which eh, it's floral, but it's got some fruit. Now these are fruity but they definitely have enough floral element that I will melt them at the same time as florals. So the first one is Oh Snapdragon because this has Snapdragon flower. It's got pink pineapple and let me flip the page to get the other note in this. Blood orange, I always forget the blood orange. This is so nice. And this just does not read horribly fruity, like boom, fruity. It reads watery and complex and like a perfume and I get all that Snapdragon and then it's probably the blood orange that comes in next and then it's a pink pineapple which is more gentle. I have seen them, I've never tasted one. And this, oh, this is so good. So if you've never tried this, it's kind of a medium level performer, maybe medium low, but I think it's worth it. It's one of my favorite spring summer smells. And then the last two that I have are Sweet Pea and Vanilla, which this is a classic. Comes back and bring back my bar. I don't love it, but my daughter does. So it's got raspberry, it's got sweet pea, and it's got vanilla. And it's very much like an old Bath and Body Works kind of a scent. It's very 90s, but it's really cute. It's very pretty, and it's definitely got an element of floral. Now the last one is decidedly fruity, but all I get out of this is one note, and that is the jasmine petals, and that is coastal strawberry which some of you I hope were lucky enough to get in the flash sale 
This is beautiful. It's supposed to be earthy strawberry vine, a little bit of raspberry and jasmine petals. But what's so odd for me is that I almost totally get jasmine and then just a little bit of creamy light strawberry, almost like an unripe strawberry afterwards. I think it's gorgeous. And when I smelled this bar for the first time a couple weeks ago, I thought, man, this should be called coastal jasmine, not coastal strawberry. So at least for my nose, this is primarily floral with a little bit of fruit. It is lovely. It's very light, almost as light as Honeymoon Hideaway, honestly, for me. So I will probably melt these on the same day in different parts of the house with all my good element warmers out doing their job. So those are all the florals that I can think of. Um, this is definitely a category that's up for debate. Some people love floral, some people can't stand it. And it's just, I don't know, it's kind of polarizing, sort of like spice. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, if there are any that I forgot that you really love that we've had over the years that I just do not have or did not experience, please feel free to leave those down in the comments. And for next month, do you guys want to do a fruit bowl or do you guys want to do zesty citrus? So we can do all the fruit smells or we can do all of the citrusy and zesty and sunshiny smells. So take your pick. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.